Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and I wanted to come back today to do a Daiso haul. It's actually been a while since I did a Daiso haul and for those of you who are not familiar with Daiso, it is a Japanese version of a Dollar Tree. So imagine all cuteness, all goodness for a dollar fifty or more. Uh, most items are a dollar fifty unless marked otherwise. I have seen some items that are three dollars, five dollars, maybe even eight dollars at the most for some of their t-shirts, but I don't pick up too much of those items unless it's something that I really, really need. So most of the items that I get are a dollar fifty. So I wanted to share it with you all. This is a collective haul from the past, I want to say two, three months, and I haven't really gotten too much items that are enough to do a haul, so this is definitely a collective haul of some new things that I found um, during the holiday season as well as this past month. But anyway, let's get started. I got this really pretty paper bag and look at the gold foil on it as well as the pink and white stripes uh, on the handle you see there's like a little crystal gem right here very very pretty and then here's the back side it's also foiled as well it has a very very big um, base and here are the gussets let me see show you guys but yeah nice nice box shape like bag and I want to try to do um, a DIY with this where uh, maybe make it into like a bouquet stand so kind of like using this and putting some silk flowers in there and see how that would look because I know some people do that and it looks really really cute so I thought this would be a great bag to do that it's very sturdy it's like the thick paper material and I really really like this very pretty so I got that some other bags that I picked up they have a lot of cute um, bags but these were the new ones that I haven't seen before I love the color combination of this it has the teal and the pink and uh, these don't have gussets in them they're very small actually and this one comes in a pack of six but I love how the tie is like a pom-pom tie with the dual colors so look at that very very cute the other one that I picked up were these little paper bags this one comes in a pack of 20 and it has like the uh, is it like a bulldog but it's very very cute so I got this I think they also had one um, that was a cat as well but I liked this one more and for a pack of 20 not bad for a dollar fifty this one is a six pack this one does have a bottom gusset and it has kind of like almost like a gold polka dots design and it says thanks a lot. So these would be uh, great for gift giving and wrapping up little uh, gifts. So those were the bag items that I got. In terms of some craft and stationery items, they really didn't get a whole lot in their stores recently. Um, but I did find these new color combinations of these uh, pom-poms. And I love the pastel colors that they have. So I got the ones that are, um, I don't know if this is considered medium size, but it does come in a pack of 30. And then these are the tiny ones that come in a pack of 75. I wanted to make some uh, clothespins with these pom-poms on them as well as paper clips uh, with them uh, for journaling and for some of my stationary supplies. I thought the color combination is very cute. You don't see these types of colors at the Dollar Tree. So I got those. I also got some chalk mar uh, chalk writers, chalk markers, um, and I got them in the pink and the blue. These actually write really well. I've uh, hauled them in the past and I have used them, but uh, I wanted to pick up some more. So I got the pink and the blue. And again, they're $1.50 each. They also had uh, these outlet covers, which I thought are so cute because my parents do help babysit uh, my nieces and nephews sometimes, so it's great to have these outlet covers just for safety reasons, but they're shaped in the little animals like the squirrels, the hedgehog, and I think the one on the top is probably a cat, but again, this comes in a pack of nine. I also love the color combination of those. They did have uh, not very much new stationary items, but I picked up mainly uh, sticky flags and page flags because that's what they had that's new, so I can always add them to my collection for my journaling and my um, planner. But I didn't pick up these ones before. It's in that panda line that um, I showed in my last haul. They had a lot of new stationery with like the panda, the cats, and other animals but this one is the transparent sticky paper page marker in the panda which is my favorite 
animal. Um, this one is also pretty new. I haven't seen these in the past and they're the point markers and it's the shape of the hearts. Now these really remind me of the ones that they had at Dollar Tree a couple of months back. So Daiso had this design with the hearts. I love the colors of it and then they also had this one in the diamonds. They come in a pack of 140 each. So I got those. And then these were also new in my stores. This is so cute. These are like some um, memo and point sticky markers or sticky notes. And it's the shape of the llamas. Look how cute. This is definitely in nowadays because even like Michael's and other craft stores, they have a lot of themes with the llamas. I think it's definitely uh, in right now. And then this one is the little rabbits. Look how cute they are. So this one comes in 30 of them very cute so those were mainly the new stationary items i got and then this one it's kind of like a black and white theme i thought that was kind of fun as well but these are some little uh sticky note pads too so again these were the only new items i found in the stationary section that i was interested in they didn't really have any new like journals or notebooks none, none that really interested me that were new um but again these were the page markers and page flags that were new to my store so I got those. In terms of some crafty items, I just got this roll of ribbon and they call it the organdy ribbon and this is kind of like a light blue color. Very, very pretty. Comes in, I guess it's three meters long. So I really like that color right there. They also had some duct tapes. I only picked up one design, which was this one with the very pretty floral and bird combination. And again, I think they had like four or five different designs, but I only got that one. And a couple of uh, items, uh, other items that I picked up, this one is a crystal glass memo clip. So look how pretty this is. It's like a little crystal uh, gem. And this would be great for clipping some uh, pictures, like some Polaroids or just like a cute little note. So I'm gonna add that to my desk. I thought that's really pretty. Usually I'm not too into these little memo clips, but this one's very simple, um, but cute. It's like a little diamond gem right there crystal gem uh, another crafty item that I got were these uh, these were new these are like some ribbons they call it the French ribbon and it's kind of like the silky material and uh, you see that inside it's like double layer but the one that's inside has like some words on it and I thought that was kind of different so I'm gonna add that to my ribbon collection I also needed some glue so I got the this one right here and I can't read all the Japanese, but I'm wondering if it's going to be good like the E6000 glue, right? Is that what you call it that, that uh, is great for different projects? That This one is multi-purpose. If any of you use these glues before at Daiso, let me know because I'm hoping this will be nice and strong. So I got that one. Some other items that I got. Look at this little cute jewelry box, trinket box. I thought this was so, so pretty. And it's shaped like a heart. It is ceramic. And um, I do apologize, I would open it, but it's all taped up. But I'm sure inside it's just like a little jewelry box. And then look at the top right here. Very pretty rose gold color bow. And I thought that was really, really nice. I'm gonna add that to my little trinkets with my jewelry. I also got this uh, planter right here. This uh, comes with a little flower pot and this uh, plant. And I'm not sure what you call this plant. Do you guys know? I mean, I see a lot of different succulents that they have and Dollar Tree has them as well, but I don't think I've seen this one and I'm not sure exactly what this plant is called. But again, I like to put the succulents together and uh, create like a nice little um, kind of like, I don't know if you call it, what do you call it? Like when you put a bunch of succulents together, but it's kind of like, uh, very pretty when you put them all together. And I just thought this one, I, I like the height of it. So I thought that would be great to add to it. They also had a couple of these new kind of like Japanese, uh, I don't know, Japanese little mascot things. So they had little plushies and the owl was the only one that I liked. Some of them looked kind of scary looking to me. So I only got the owl, but they had one, it's like a little bear and they had one that I think in the Japanese culture there, I, I think they're supposed to bring good luck. But this kind of is like a, almost like a beanie ball and it does stand I, right here is the carpet, but I think um, I can put it up and stand it. And I like owls, so I got that. And speaking about owls, they also had some new like little 
clips as well as magnets in that line. So I did uh, pull up this one. This is the, they call it the crate wooden pinch with the owl. So I got this design. I also got the magnet of it. So it's kind of like this material. I don't know if you guys can see it. Hopefully you guys can see it. Very unique. I love collecting magnets. So these would be uh, this one would be great. The other magnet that I got, these are like the resin material and it's the Lucky Cat. They had so many different designs, but I only picked up these ones right here. And then I also got this one that is uh, with the is that Mount Fuji probably? Um, also comes with the Lucky Cat. So I'm going to add those to my magnet collection. The other clothespin that I got, this one is the Butterfly. Very pretty pink and it has the little bells as well. So these were a new line at my uh, Daiso as well. So can't wait to use them. They're very unique. It's not something that you would see at Dollar Tree or uh, Target or Michaels. It has that Asian flair to it. So it makes it definitely very unique I also picked up some pouches so I got a clear pouch right here uh, it says when it is dark enough you can see the stars so it's just this clear one with the gold zipper and these stars too bad the backside doesn't have any prints but I thought this one was really cute and then this one is like a canvas material that says love letter and it has this uh, envelope with the pink heart on it. It's very simple and cute. And then the biggest size one I got, now this one was $3, but I feel it's worth it. It's so soft and fluffy. I don't know if you guys can see <laughs> me putting my hand through it, uh, but it does have a Velcro closure right here. And this actually would fit my planners uh, really well. The shape of it, it's not too big. It's nice and light and it's fluffy. So this one is definitely great to carry uh, my planner around as well as like a pen. So very, very cute. I love this fluffy material. So those were some of the bags that I got. And then I also got some bath room items. I got this uh, towel. It's like, they call it the mi the fluffy microfiber hand towel. So I'm going to hang this right by the sink so that uh, when people come, they know which one is the hand towel, <laughs> the one right by the sink. Because um, this is for my bathroom downstairs because it's kind of like a purplish uh, theme and color scheme. So I got this one. But very cute. They have to add like a little bow to everything and make it so darn cute. And then speaking about bows, I also got these soft foot pads. And this would be great when I'm getting a pedicure. So I got two of them. It helps you kind of keep your uh, toes separated. And how cute. It has the little bow. It's totally like my hair uh, thing that I have. The, the hair... Uh, that you know that you could put on your hair too. I have a version of that as well And then now they have it for the foot as well. How cute. So I got those those were new to my store I also wanted to give this a try. This is the gel insole double massage um, For it's like the insoles that you put inside your shoe, but look at this one. It's like a clear gel uh, Material, but at the same time it has like this hint of lace over it. So very pretty but even if I put it in, I don't have to make my shoes all ugly <laughs> inside. So I'm going to give this a try. But I love the padding and the feeling of it. I hope it keeps my feet um, comfortable. So I'm going to give that one a try. And then I picked up some bath slippers. This is actually for my mom. She wanted one just to get in and out of the shower with. Because, of course, these white colors get dirty easily. But for $1.50 for a pair of slippers, definitely can't beat that. And then last but not least, you guys, just picked up two snacks. I tried to be good. There's so much yummy foods there. But I got this box of the Pocky Cookies and Cream flavored, one of my favorites. And then I don't know why, one day when I got in line, I was just craving some animal crackers. So I picked up this box of the Dream Animals Butter Flavored Biscuits. They did have different flavors, but I just went ahead and got this. This reminds me so much of my childhood. So that day when I was in line, I was just craving for it. Um, so that was my Daiso haul, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will continue to do more Daiso hauls as I find more items, but it's not something that I would do regularly like the other stores because, again, the Daiso's 
don't stock up a lot of new stuff regularly I would say maybe every few months they have some new stuff some seasonal items so I don't go there as often as I used to or find as many new things maybe because I've hauled half um, most of the store <laughs> already um, but anyway I hope you all enjoyed it um, please like comment subscribe any questions that you have please leave them down below and uh, feel free to uh, join me on Instagram I, I, I am on Instagram finally jumped on the bandwagon <laughs> for that but it's at uh, animalbeal123 so feel free to um, join me on Instagram uh, I don't post regularly but if there's any interesting finds any pretty things I do like to share that on um, the site and uh, I welcome all of you to join me uh, thank you so so much for watching you guys I will talk to you all soon in my next video bye bye